we have a parabola like this, it's a U-shaped graph. We have a line that's called the directrix, and we have a point that's called the focus, and we have a point that's called the vertex. Now the vertex is halfway in between the focus and the directrix, and the distance from the vertex to the directrix, or the vertex to the focus, we usually call that uh, distance P, that's the focal distance. And the basic idea is that if you pick any point along the parabola, the distance from that point to the focus will be the same as the distance from that point to the directrix, the shortest distance. So as you go further and further out on the parabola, the distance to the focus will get longer, but so will the distance to the directrix, and those two distances will be congruent. So let's take a look at this example and I'll show you what I mean. So here we're trying to find the equation uh, of the parabola given the vertex 0, 0 and the focus 0, negative 4. Now I always like to draw a sketch. You might want to do the same thing too just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So the vertex is here, 0, 0. That's where the graph is changing direction. It's where it bends. Okay, it's the maximum or the minimum. And then the focus is at 0, negative 4. So that's going to be right there. And you can see that the parabola is always going to open towards the focus away from the directrix. Okay, And there's two different forms of the equation. There's the x squared equals 4py form, and there's the y squared equals 4px form. If the x is the squared term, then it's going to open up or down. If the y squared is the squared term, then it's going to open to the right or to the left. And the idea is that if p is positive, it would open to the right. If p is negative, it would open to the left. If it's this one here, x squared, if p is positive, it will open up. And if p is negative, it will open down. So we can see here that just a you know, rough sketch, our parabola is going to look something like this. It's opening down, and that tells us it's an x squared variety. And you can see this distance from the vertex to the focus. Okay, that distance is 4. So we know that it's going to be x squared equals 4 y, and the p distance, you can see this 4, I'm going to make that a negative 4 so that this is negative. It's going to be opening downward. So our equation is x squared equals negative 16y. So 